Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Deal. So I thought I'd try something new. I've been doing an awful lot of just Guild Wars 2 stuff. I was doing some other games in LPs a while ago. But I feel like I haven't really been doing something proper as far as doing kind of a gaming channel on YouTube's concerned. So I thought I'd try something like this out. Honestly have no idea whatsoever how you guys will take to it. So please do leave your feedback. Let me know what you think of the format. Whether you'd be interested in watching something like this. And hopefully, I mean hopefully this will go really well. And it could be something kind of big and new and fresh for the channel that we can start doing. So... What I'm going to be doing is everyday coverage of a specific game that's really, really cheap for that day. Now, Steam does a daily deal every single day, which is quite handy, so I'll probably be doing a fair few on Steam. In fact, this one's the daily deal for Steam today, but in the future we might expand out into other platforms too. I have no problem with that. But yeah, every day at 6 o'clock GMT, which is when I'm filming this, Steam put out a new daily deal, and usually they're very, very cheap, just a pittance. So I'd quite like to start covering those. The videos are going to be in two different versions. One will be what you're seeing here which are my very first impressions and then we'll be cutting head a little bit and the other one will be a kind of very concise post commentated summary of what I found out with my few hours with the game that you can watch and you can kind of choose which one you want to do so that's the idea and I'm actually quite excited about it I really am I haven't been playing a, a wide range of games for a long time so this should be a, a very interesting thing to do so in any case today's game is Metal Drift it's actually a racing shooter game very arcadey don't know anything about it so I'm going to go into the tutorial first of all and we'll see what happens. I have looked at the controls at the very least, but besides that, no idea what the handling's like on it, or whether this is uh, really going to be very fun, but it was pretty cheap. You'll see the prices come up on the screen at some point. Okay, so tutorial section. Uh, we can only choose driving, I suppose, right now, so let's do that. Oh god. Okay, drive around the red shield wall to the gold. Movement controls, blah blah blah. Alright, sure. So this is just W, A, S, and D. Oh my god, this thing looks amazing! Look at this! Wow. I love the art style, it looks really cool. Oh, okay, we're going around the wall, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw the waypoint and thought, oh, okay, it's just ahead of us. It doesn't sound like the way I'd expect it to sound. It looks so futuristic. Okay, are we good? Hey, success, I've completed it. I know how to use W, A, S, and D, guys. Well, that's a good start. Press space while pressing W to boost, right? Sure. Okay, oh wait, there's another wall. Am I stopping before the wall or after the wall? Before the wall, after the wall. Pretty sure we're going after the wall. Okay, so turning is more limited while you're boosting. Makes sense. Thank you very much. Uh, rotate your turret to shoot each red tank until destroyed. Uh, left mouse button fires, right mouse button zooms, center mouse button centers the turret. Okay, I did read actually in the controls that center mouse button uh, actually fired another thing. Oh, okay, so we got a tank here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, awesome. And then this one here. I like the really photorealistic explosions in, like, what looks like to be an almost cell-shaded kind of background. There we go, die. So, this game is primarily PvP. I do believe it's got, like, a kind of a something of a, a campaign, if you will. Um, and if you do go into a match against other players and the full slots aren't filled, they do have bots which will join with you, which uh, we'll try out. Uh, drive into weapon range of each red tank and destroy it. A tank in weapon range. It, well, you know it's in, re in weapon range because of the red reticle that appears. Alright, sure. Okay. What, what? Hold on. Oh, I see around the side. I was expecting the crosshair to change. Wait, so how... Oh, sugar. Okay. So actually, weapon range looks like it's really far. How big are the arenas going to be? I guess we need to be reloading, but I can't see where it's telling me about that on the UI. Is that weapon range? Even that's weapon range? Jesus. Can we actually get out of range of it? Okay, that's not in range. Alright, sure. Uh, I, th I believe it's 12 tanks will be on our each match as well. Could be wrong about that, but I think it's something like that. So it could be interesting. Die, you bugger. Where is it telling me when I need to reload? Oh, I see. On the left-hand side. So, oh no, that's my speed. And what is that on the, on the, I guess, my acceleration as well? Anyway, success, you've completed the tutorial. All right, boost power tutorial. Destroy the red tank to get enough power to speed boost through the goal fast. Build up power by shooting red tanks. The power display is the larger bar just below the radar, okay. Uh, turret controls, blah, blah, blah. Right, wait, so I speed up as I shoot stuff? Oh, God, I do. Look, look, look. Can you see the power bar going up? Oh, and then you spend that with the boost, right? Okay. That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> but I failed, apparently. 
Wait, so I, do I need to destroy the tank? Um, I think I might just need to destroy the tank. So we'll fill up our power bar first. There we go. We didn't quite fill it up, but now can I boost all the way there? What? Do I kill the tank to get boost power? Do I what if I just need to boost past him? Maybe in my first attempt that didn't quite work. So we'll just shoot it to get some boost power. Yay, success. Okay, I guess I just timed out originally. You weren't supposed to blow it up. Okay, moving on. Uh, shot power tutorial. Right, destroy the red tank using your weapons. Power node. This tank is only vulnerable to powered weapon fire. Okay, press E to toggle your weapons power mode. Left mouse button fires, right mouse button zooms. Okay, right. So... Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, what's the difference there between using that, though? Uh, scoring... Ch All right, never mind. Scoring tutorial. Pick up the ball and drive to the goal without being killed. So, yeah, they've got a capture the flag type thing in the game. Um, the ball, I guess, is on the other side. Oh, this is so... This is like a um, bloody... Like an air hockey ring, I can see now. Sort of, but with... Oh, he's actually driving around with it. Come back here, Sambot. Is that Sambot it says? I think it is. I've got you. Let's try and zoom in as well. Oh my god, zooming in is not going to be easy. Right, okay. Uh, is that the ball there? I think that is the ball. Uh, must turn, because you're not always sent... Oh, I see, right. So middle of my mouse button. Centering it seems like it's going to be very important. Right, and we got the ball. That's what the thing on the front was. It's all coming together now. Except I think we need to put the ball in the other side of the arena, not where we came from. So let's go over to the waypoint. Okay, uh, there's also a lot of uh, new skins and stuff that you can get for your tanks. And a big part of this game apparently is leveling up. I don't know whether that's just purely cosmetic though, or, or whether there's some kind of actual gameplay you know, advantage that you can get for actually getting into higher tanks. We'll have to find out. There we go, that's all tutorials done. Brilliant. Okay, so I could join game or start game. I believe if I go start game, we can actually do some of the actual single player stuff first. Uh, bot counts. I don't know. Let's go for bots. Bot skill. Dynamic. Sure, why not? Uh, Metro deck one. Sure, launch. Is this actually going to be single player? Is this going to be with other... I guess we'll find out. Holy crap, this it looks totally different, and the first thing I did was hit a wall. This isn't good. So we start off with a little bit of boost, but I guess I don't get any power back unless I'm actually shooting people. What the hell is going on? This isn't capture the flag, I guess this is just fight people. So maybe we can kill this guy? Maybe? We got 10 points for that, but that doesn't seem to have affected the score for either side. Look how much stuff there is on the UI. Holy hell. Okay, um, we got a, a marker over here. Let's try and go towards that. Actually, no. Oh, look, there is a ball. I tell a lie. There is a ball. Ow, 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 ow. Please don't shoot me. But I'll shoot you. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I can barely see a thing. I didn't get the ball over. I think it's over there. The red guy's got it. Let's kill him. What we'll have to do is try one of the... Shit. Thrax is on a roll, he's got two points. We'll have to try one of the non uh, Capture the Flag style ones as well at some point. Okay. Got another champ bot over there. Actually, I'll tell you what, guys. Um, since we've done the tutorial and we've seen what a normal match is like a little bit, I'm going to just play this game for a little while uh, and I'll catch you back in just a, a second and we'll see how I'm finding it and maybe if we can figure out a little bit more about it uh, when I meet you in a sec. So I will see you in a bit. Oh, God. Oh, God. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay, and I'm back. I've got a much better idea of how this game goes now. I still haven't played it against people, so I figured that's what we could do now. I can explain a little bit more, I suppose, of what I've learned from this. As you can see, this could be a bit of a pro- Oh no, what, they've disconnected? I had a look here earlier, there was a server with five people on it, but the most that we've got at the moment is two people. But I believe the rest of the slots are going to be filled by bots anyway, but there's 
definitely not much of a community on this game. As I said earlier, I, I read on Wikipedia while this was installing that there was supposed to be an update that came out in 2012 that added another game type to the game, but there's been no sign of that as far as I can see while I've been in. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty interesting. At least now I've kind of had a chance to take in the UI and look at what I can... Uh, actually see here and how all of the mechanics kind of work. Definitely I think as you rank up you do get different abilities and stuff. You see right now I've unlocked the Ion Cannon so you do get different functionalities from playing the game more so you are somewhat gated at the start. I also now have armor instead of just auto repair which was causing me to charge my shield. We'll go with armor here. And these are new as well. I've never played with these before, so I might end up being crap again. Okay, so this shoots a lot slower. So yeah, um, re reloading, actually, as you can see, this takes a while to reload. That's the thing that appears in the middle of your crosshair, which I hadn't realized before, so you can see that. One thing I would say about this is the UI and just your, your machine is taking up an awful lot of the, the, like, the game screen, so much of it. Apparently, this weapon I'm now using is incredibly punishing if you miss, so that kind of sucks. But hopefully I won't be, do too badly. The handling at first feels a bit weird with it, but you do get used to it, honestly. And I don't know, it's pretty fun. I'm surprised that the game doesn't have much of a community because I could imagine this having some real potential, but maybe it's just limited because there isn't too much in the way of maps and a lot of the gameplay, at least from this hour I've played, does feel really kind of similar. But we'll see how much... It, I guess that... All the maps do look reasonably different and they they probably flow quite differently too. So the more you do play it, there's probably more depth there than it would appear at first glance. But then that's the thing, right? I mean, you've got to grab people for those first glances and maybe that's not what they managed to do. Or maybe it was just a game that was actually pretty good but didn't really have much marketing. This guy is like bugging into me. Where are you? Ah. So it can be a bit ruthless. The one thing that I kind of did notice as well is they have this dynamic difficulty thing. And it actually seems to work kind of well. I've played three games now as you can see they all last a reasonable amount of time and I've darted into in and out of many other games and like not fully finished them but the, for, for the three that I played from start to finish actually I, I won two of them and lost one and it does seem reasonable it's not like I haven't felt like at least right now as soon as I start doing well in it the NPCs are just artificially getting much more difficult and it just doesn't feel fun it's just uh, it just seems to be well balanced all the time and there's probably a good idea as well with like scaling dyna dynamic difficulty in there because that way you can actually encourage well see the, the point is you could just pick your difficulty yourself and then just be 100% sure or know what difficulty level suits you best but at least this way I guess you don't have to figure that out ow ow why are you shooting me just because I got the ball I'm also going the wrong way one thing I haven't played with yet is you can see there's some like repair stations around in the area or what seem to be that but I've not actually been to them yet to check so I'll have to see about that um, as you can see on the actual car, you've got your shields and your armor. Both of them do recharge. Uh, well, I believe armor won't recharge unless you've got the recharging perk, which is the first one you have in the game. But I think I have significantly more armor right now. It's just that it doesn't recharge. But the shield doesn't. No, I failed just short of the score. Oh. That happens a lot. That's quite a good thing that I've noticed about this, that you will be driving along and you're slowly getting lower and lower and lower and lower and usually you do just get over the pad just as you're about to die and that feels pretty awesome when you actually manage to do that. The game looks pretty good. I mean, I love the arena and the whole kind of looking around while driving, first person perspective kind of thing is pretty good. You don't see that too much and I always enjoyed that about this. some most FPSs these days, for example, when you get in a vehicle, they'll just bump you out into third person. But I always do kind of enjoy this type of view and it as I say, it works quite well. It's fiddly at first, but that middle mouse button just that centers your view so you know precisely where you are is very handy because otherwise you could be shooting slightly to the left and now you're steering independently and you're not quite sure where exactly you're... Because you, you might just assume you're going straight towards where the crosshair is uh, aiming, but it's obviously it's not that simple. But you just get used to hammering the middle mouse button, which is easy to reach as well, and you're fine. The whole control scheme is pretty simple. I mean, it really is as simple as W, A, S, and D. You do have this different mode to your weapon, which I don't think I have for this new weapon that I've got here, but my previous one in the other car, you could hit E and change the type of 
uh, the way that you were firing. I, I'm not sure how precisely that was affecting it. I, I, I was curious if by shooting people that it was more powerful but I wasn't gaining power from shooting people. As you can see down there, I don't have much to boost with. It does slowly regenerate a tiny bit on its own, but primarily it's through shooting people you'll get more of that. And I'm wondering if the secondary mode, that's the trade-off you have there, that you can't boost while you're, while you're shooting. Of course, that's something quite handy if you're pursuing people to be able to boost. It kind of ties in quite nicely because you're shooting them in the arse while they're going along, and that's helping you to keep up with them, get closer and closer and closer. It gives you kind of that attacker's advantage, which you might otherwise lose I guess in a game like this where at the end of the day you, everyone kind of moves at the same speed if you didn't have that mechanic in there uh, those gates as well um, you can fly through them depending on what team you're on and you can shoot through them depending on what team you're on and you can use those to shake people of course you then have to go a really long way I'm missing with all of these shots so it's, it's a pretty cool idea there I as again, again I, I believe this update that was supposed to come out soon was supposed to introduce other types of walls maybe that you can shoot through but um, as I say, no sight of it so far. It was supposed to be 2012. We are coming into to kind of the end, the last leg of 2012 now, so I'm not sure what to expect about that. The game doesn't have a big community, though, so maybe they just don't feel too uh, convinced that they have to put it out straight away. Ah, I'm sure if I was smarter as well, I would know where I should be. I don't know how advanced the tactics are that these bots use, whether they'll stick around with whoever's got the ball or whether they specifically select some people to be defending and other people can we please shoot him. This bolt just moves too slow. That's the problem. Blame the tools. That's right. A good workman blames his tools. So there's that. Another th point with the shooting is there's no real verticality to the game. Like, I can aim and shoot up here, right? Oh, yeah, I just shot people in the stadium. Oh, dear, they're dead. But that has no impact on the game. It's got nothing to do with... So that I find a bit weird as well. I mean, you could, in theory, just only have an X-axis and, and no Y-axis at all in this game. But I guess that they've left it in just to make you feel a little bit more comfortable, but it doesn't seem to serve much of a purpose. There is some height that you get in certain situations, and it might be just because I've not played it enough to shoot people higher up. Like, so say, if someone's up there, maybe I could shoot them while they're flying around, but... It doesn't seem to affect too much of the game. But hey, it might be an invalid point. It depends how good you can get or how high the skill ceiling is. That's the kind of thing that ruins games like this, I think. That they could be fun, but if they don't have a particularly high skill ceiling or they don't reward team playing certain ways, then they're never gonna, people aren't going to get behind them really competitively. And of course, if you, you've built a game like this that is so based around, obviously, just PvP, if it doesn't have the community, it's, like, it's a death sentence straight away. Which is a shame. I mean, this just went on deal on, on Steam. And there were only three people online, like, and it just went on. And I mean, over the day, a few more people might buy it, buy it might trickle on. It was only like a quid, but still, I, I, it might not be enough. In fact, it certainly doesn't look like enough. It makes me wonder how many people actually do the Steam deals at the moment, because they are pretty good, the daily ones. They've only introduced them kind of recently. I, I wanted to start doing a series like this, honestly, as soon as they did it, uh, put them out at first. But with the launch of Guild Wars 2, it was kind of too much on the plate at the same time. I was doing a long time ago something, in case you don't know, if you're reasonably new to the channel. I was doing something um, similar to this, where I was doing just the weekend deals and the midweek madness. And I might continue to do that in the future. Uh, but right now I kind of want to focus on the daily ones because I feel like if I can do a daily video each time then that's awesome And midweek madness and the, and the weekend deals aren't necessarily always amazing Sometimes they're doing free weekends more often than not now uh, Which could be interesting to do I, I in an ideal world I'd be able to do it all but that would have to be something I'd ramp up into I don't want to bite off too much that, that, that I can chew, you know, especially with keeping up lots of Guild Wars content at the same time Yes, we actually hit someone. Oh, I feel amazing Okay, and see how much power we got from that and then we missed yeah, a big bit of this is definitely you've got to lead people to actually get your shots off properly. Yes! It's a shame I can't kill him. My rate of fire is too slow. We won, though. See, and I barely contributed to that <laughs> match. But we did win, so there's that. We were Athlon, they were Triax. Um, it's an interesting game. I'm not even sure who the other players were that we had there, but I, I don't really recognise having seen other people. It's kind of a cool game. Um, we'll do another match, I suppose. Uh, we'll see how we go. Maybe try and do something specific. See, and that commentator is always advertising that website too. I have found that when you go with your own game, um, if you go, I, I, I'm enjoying the four aside's okay, three aside I think is perfect. Two aside is good, which is what I was doing earlier. Sorry, sorry. Two aside would be four bots. Um, or no, it would be three bots because it would be two plus me. 
Uh, but if you go too aside on the game, I feel like it, it, it's probably a lot easier to figure out exactly what's going on, but the pace is far, far slower. It will take a long time for many of the points to come out. Uh, let's do Burnside. I don't think I, I've seen this map yet, so we'll go with this. Launch. And I've just picked three bots, so this is obviously going to be a slow pace. I guess we'll just have a quick look at the map, and then uh, we'll call it there. And yeah, the, the idea of this is, I'll, I'll come in, I'll do a bit of a, oh, okay, these are my first impressions, this is kind of how I'm finding the game. We'll go with our normal stuff as well here that I was playing with earlier. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just try and summarise everything I thought in that, that short video that then links onto this. So, I don't know, I think it's sound. I think this offers something for everyone, but it's just a question of when you've been covering one game for a long time, it's easy for people to just kind of get railroaded into thinking, oh, that's the only thing that can come out. And I, I don't really want to get railroaded into that. I don't I don't want that to be the only thing. So, yeah, I mean, you guys will have to tell me what you think. I have been a bit, you know, iffy about doing this, but I, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited. I, I think eventually um, it could become something quite good. And there will be games and genres that I'm just terrible at or I really don't enjoy, and those will be, hopefully, the more entertaining ones to watch because it will just be watching me struggle through it for the day. But, yeah, so... <laughs> that wasn't good. This map's a weird one because... You have to kind of go up round the sides, and if you pick the wrong side, you'll be on the wrong half of the map, and you'll be blocked by the other team's walls. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Hopefully I can demonstrate that to you. But I got a lot of footage of this for the uh, short one, too, earlier. So, our teammates got that. Oh, shit. And he's just died. He had the ball. So he's up there. So this is a little bit vertical, but obviously you're obscured a lot of the time. So you can't shoot. Like, he's up there. How, how am I possibly going to be able to get in there and interact with him. I'm sure there are little secrets and shortcuts and things you can do. And there's probably other mods that you can do to your tanks to improve the handling. But um, as I say, these all seem to be something you get far later in the game. I can understand why they would have put that in because they want to encourage people to play at least for a little while to have some kind of a community at least existing there, something to build off of. But um, maybe they might have made it slightly too harsh and as a result... Uh, a lot of people were just put off by playing the game because they didn't feel like they had all the options available to them straight away Or they felt just too severely gimped. I mean that's that can be a, a big problem if the game was thriving later on Everyone would have all the upgrades and then me as a new player comes along and it's just impossible to you know Have some kind of level footing a because they're far more skilled than I am But B because they've also got these statistical advantages and mechanical advantages and they know the maps and they don't just fall off of edges all over the place There we go the balls over there. Let's let's go for it but yeah, it's pretty good. They do have literally everything you could possibly want out on your out on your UI. You've got kills, you've got your deaths. I'm level 8, I'll, I think I'll get an upgrade at level 10. I think there are 40 levels, so I don't know how slowly I'm going to keep levelling up, or maybe that it's like a flat rate, that would be quite nice. Uh, it will tell you how many kill streaks you've got, your score, what place you're in, I'm last, obviously. You've got then the enemy team scores, and then your team scores with a countdown. Then everything else really is just kind of to do with how many shots you've got and so forth. But as you can see, I'm just kind of faffing about here and I haven't seen anyone for a long time. There you go, there's some people. And hopefully, we can kill this guy in first. Also, I can demonstrate, so if I hit E, I get these new types of weapons and I can blow people up pretty nicely. I'm on one bit of health. So as you can see, my armor is slowly recharging and my shield is recharging slightly faster. It works in the, as you take damage, they have to break through your shield first to, to then destroy your armor. Um, and it looks like some weapons will just melt your shield, but take a little bit longer to destroy your armor. So there could be kind of that dynamic there where you team up with your teammates. Hello! And um, one of you is using a weapon that like breaks through shields really easily. Shit, see, it's just so hard to hit them. Oh, and the other person's using something that damages armor really quickly, in which case you'd be killing your foes really fast. Zooming in, I'm still not used to. I uh, thing is, when they're so far away you have to zoom in, it's going to be quite hard to hit them anyway because a lot of the... Uh, bullets are quite slow moving if you can even call them bullets but yeah that's uh i guess that's probably it guys um thanks very much for watching this was metal drift it's the steam daily deal right now uh, I, I think it's worth the money i think pretty much everything i do in this series is going to be worth the money and i'm going to not bitch about stuff tiny little things all the time but yeah so it's, it's pretty fun it's not got much of community if you don't really mind playing with bots then uh, maybe it would be uh, a nice investment for your time if you've been looking. I mean, it's certainly a cool concept. You don't see that many games like this. You might, but then they're just slightly more well-developed and they're, they're actually a little bit more known. So, yeah, this is only a couple of years old and um, they are still continuously updating it. So it's not like a death sentence buying it and you're never going to be able to do anything with it. You could eventually, I suppose, get a really nice update that really encourages a lot more uh, 
players to come to it. So yeah, there you go, guys. I will see you tomorrow for the next Daily Deal. And have a good evening. See you next time.